you are getting into website design and website development now you have to manage your backend of the website how you manage the backend how you manage the cpanel what is cpanel what is the use of cpanel all the thing we will learn in this video so let's learn that Generally cPanel is a control panel that lets you manage everything related to a website or web application whether it is installing a WordPress whether it is uh, done with uh, SEO or whether it is uh, sending or set up any email accounts in cPanel everything we can achieve everything we can manage our website related or web app related things in our cPanel most of the sharing hosting provider like GoDaddy, BigRock and Bluehost have their own dedicated cPanel available with them. However, if you are using a dedicated server for you, cPanel is right there for you. You can customize the cPanel as per your application, as per the look and feel of that particular application. So cPanel lets you manage everything related to your web application or website in the backend. Now before you know what can be done with the cPanel, first let's learn how to open the cPanel for our purpose where is your cpanel you can access the dashboard in couple of different ways but the easiest way is through your hosting server platform so if your website name is www.website.com then your cpanel will be www.website.com slash cpanel this simple is uh, to open our cpanel what does cpanel look like cpanel is a dashboard organized into section Depending on your hosting server, the interface can look different from another you have been seen in the past. That's because each host company apply their own branding and design to the dashboard looks. What information you can find over cPanel? On the left hand column of your cPanel is your account information. Here you find like your account expiration date, your IP address, the name of server, the server host name, a search bar in the cPanel features you need and status about your domain, email and storage. Then on the right is the larger area where all the features are found. Now in this condition you will ask me what all things that we can do with the help of cPanel. I will tell you that using cPanel we can do some common things and some cPanel providers are that uh, they are giving some extra information. So what all we are going to uh, do with the cPanel. The first thing that we can do is we can install some CMS like WordPress, Joomla, Magento while we can install some uh, web application that is present over cPanel and we can right now we can use uh, them to build our own application over cPanel. The next thing that we can do over cPanel is add a domain, edit a domain, edit DNS of a domain, change the domain lock system, create a domain, add parked domain etc. The next thing that we can do with the help of cPanel is create some email account and manage those email account and that email may be webmail or cPanel email account. From here you can control password, storage, capacity, forwarding function of your office productivity uh, emails. The next one is our file manager. Similar to our mobile devices, there is a file manager available on to cPanel. Using that file manager, we store our web data, we store our information or we store our website. That storage website is achievable when you uh, put your domain name, that website can be readable from that uh, store provider. So typically there is a root folder available in cPanel where you put your website or web application that root folder is being loaded when you type your domain name into a browser. The next thing that is uh, being done with the help of cPanel is we can change some uh, PHP controls. Some of like maximum uh, upload size, maximum education time and some settings like PHP version can be changed with the help of our cPanel. You are running a website or web application. The next one is you need to create a backup of that website or web application that can be done with the help of cPanel. There is a particular section where you can backup or restore your previous backup uh, files over cPanel. Because your every online information, online business is uh, there on the cPanel, there must be needed some security information, security settings, right? That security thing is being there on our cPanel. Add encrypt feature to make domain safe with HTTPS. Add password protection to the field directory and manage IP address Denny feature. 
use the cPanel security feature to do uh, a security check on your any of the site and domains. You have a website or web application that means you have a database where the database store all the information regarding our user regarding our matrices that database is needed. How you manage the database the particular database is uh, option is present in our cPanel like there is an option called PHP my admin where you manage your database there is my SQL you can create a my SQL database over there so everything database related kind of thing that can be done with the help of cPanel we are learning about what is cPanel and what all things that we can do with the help of cPanel and the final one comes is visitor matrix now you have a website or web application how many visitor came in a month how many visitor came in a week and how many visitor are converting all the matrices can be generated through cPanel so cPanel have an analytics tool predefinedly installed over that using that analytics tool you can go through the matrix and check what is the status of your application whether you are improving or whether you are declining then you can uh, create your own backup method or create your next business plan by using the matrix as you see cPanel is not too complicated this is a web based control panel for web developer to manage and design does not need to be daunting or overwhelming getting around cPanel is pretty straightforward as long as you know what you need to get done it's very easy to learn if you need more help with getting into cPanel let me tell in the comment section below so that I can create dedicated video tutorials free video tutorials to learn cPanel so right now I'm signing out from this video. We'll see you in this next video. Hope we'll meet soon. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. If you liked my this video, why don't you check out my other videos on my YouTube channel?